Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute since I've released the video, but in today's video, I'm gonna take you through my personal Google Ads shopping checklist. So this applies to Google Shopping Ads. It's the checklist that I use uh, always when setting up new accounts with Google Shopping Ads. It's really, really good as a refresher for any of you that do it regularly. And it's just nice to have an easy set out format because if you wanna train someone else, a VA, an employee, another member of your agency, how to run Google Shopping Ads, or even just another employee in your e-commerce business, this is an easy to follow checklist for them to do it. Um, and you'll find even within one business, you're regularly doing this, uh, whether you've changed websites, whether you have got new accounts, whatever it is, I do find that you, know, you do need to come back and visit this. Um, it does change slightly, but uh, it's definitely worth having this in your business as a, as a point that everyone's on the same page. So before we get any further into this, guys, please subscribe to the channel. We've got heaps of stuff coming. I know I've been quiet of late, but that's because I've just been really, really busy. Uh, and YouTube does take up a big amount of time. As much as I love it, it does take heaps of time. But if you do enjoy this content, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. So guys, uh, the first thing is you need uh, a few accounts before you get started. So you need a Google account. Pretty much most people have this if you've used any kind of Google product you've got a Google account, whether it's Maps, uh, Gmail, whatever it might be. If you don't have one, just jump in and create one. It takes two seconds. Uh, Google Analytics is the first step I always have. Just go in, create an account. If you struggle with that, guys, it's it's pretty straightforward. You've just got to type into Google, Google Analytics and set it up. This is going to be a quite a quick video just for someone who wants to go bang, bang, bang. I'll include a link to the shopping uh, checklist down below as well so you can download it and use it in your business. So the next one after Google Analytics is Google Merchant Center. All of these guys, just Google them if you've never done it before. Type Google Merchant Center. It'll get it'll take you through the steps to create an account very, very quickly. Google Ads, I imagine most of you have this, but if not, just do it. Um, online store, so depends what you're using. Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, etc. Most people I find are either using Shopify or WooCommerce. You do get a few people using BigCommerce and other but uh, I tend to find most people fit into those, probably 80 or 90%. Each of them has a slightly different process of putting all of these together, but uh, it's, it's very, very similar across all of them. Um, and, and all the steps are quite quick to do, to be honest. You could set all of this up within under an hour. So your actual online store requirements are uh, all policy pages must be present, clear, and easily found. And what this means is sometimes the template that you get from say Shopify or online, you're probably going to want to change it a little bit because when there's too many exactly the same, um, this is what leads to bans, okay? If you have too many, um, I guess, commonalities with scammers or people that have been found to be breaching rules, your Merchant Center account will get banned and probably your Google Ad account as well. So. Make sure you go in, edit them, make them really clear. If you were a customer, would you know uh, how all these policies work within this business? That's what you need to ask yourself. From here, a contact us page, you need to have this and you need to have two of these three, email, address, and phone number. This is incredibly important. A lot of people get banned because they don't do this. Uh, make the information factual, make it match across the internet. Uh, product pages should be of high quality with detailed titles and descriptions. That's important, guys. From a conversion point of view, firstly, it's important. And also from having a quality store and a good ad ranking, you need to have all this. Is the website easy to navigate and shop? If it's not, again, you might get banned if it's not. Does the website look trustworthy and professional? This is super important as well. If you're just going to set up a Shopify store, have the, a standard theme, uh, and, and wonder later why um, you get banned because you've put very little effort into your store. Some people can get away with it. It's not to say you can't. There's plenty out there that exist. But if you want to put your best foot forward and do well in this industry, this is what you need to do. You need to be trustworthy uh, and you need to be professional. Once you've got all these things done on your online store, guys, I tend to send Google Analytics up first. Some of these steps, guys, you don't have to follow 100%, but if you do follow them, just choose a method. I use this. Some of them you can do it in a different method, but this is what I've found to work. Google Analytics, put the tracking code on your website and check if it's working properly with the tag manager uh, checker. It's a Google uh, Chrome plugin, an extension, sorry, um, that you can check if the code is working. Uh, to install the code, you need to put it into your header. I've got many videos showing you how to do this, so please check them out. 
uh, if you do struggle. It's very, very straightforward. If you don't know how to do any of these steps, jump on Fiverr, get someone to do that step. <coughs> when you do this, as always, I show you, turn on enhanced uh, e-commerce tracking, uh, e-commerce tracking and enhanced e-commerce within your settings in analytics, turn on remarketing. Link your Google ad account to your analytics account and then create some remarketing audiences. I show people in my course a lot about these audiences because they can really supercharge your ads. So after you get your Google Analytics account set up, we wanna go through the Merchant Center and actually upload our feed. Our feed is what links our uh, Shopify or e-commerce store to Google Merchants uh, Center to the Google Ads uh, dashboard as well. All of these are ways, uh, this is the way to get your products on there. There are free organic listings and there are also paid shopping listings as well. The first step is always to verify and claim your domain. I use Google Analytics to do this as the method of verification. There are others, but Google Analytics, since we already have it set up, it's linked there. If you use the same website, using the same website is key there. Uh, it'll all be linked together and you'll be able to easily, easily verify and claim your domain. Fill out all the information there, guys, especially shipping, returns, and things like that. Every little bit of information in the Google Merchant Center, fill it out. We then want to link it to your Google Ad account. We're gonna then create our product feed. So if we're using Shopify or similar, pretty much even WordPress, BigCommerce, everyone has a plugin. They all work pretty uh, similarly to this. Um, I tend to use Simprosis, uh, or there's also the free um, uh, Shopify uh, app that's Google Shopping. And you can also use manual methods such as a Google Sheet, um, manual entry. Uh, it's soon, we won't have feeds at all. It'll just scan your website code and that's what it'll be. Um, enable all programs such as free, paid ads and remarketing. So guys, I also should have said that the actual apps tend to walk you through how to do all this uh, and won't work if you haven't done it properly. So it's very, very hard to get wrong. Once the feed's uploaded, check that the products are live and if there's any errors, just go through and fix them. Of late, I've been using uh, supplemental feeds a lot to make sure that the um, information in my feed is 100% accurate. I can fix any errors and I can supercharge the performance of the ads by making sure I include more keywords in the titles and descriptions. So once the feed is uploaded, it's probably gonna take a few days to a week. Uh, check that the products are all live, as I said, and, and then fix any errors. Um, Google Ads is the next step. We actually wanna get our ads up and running. So the first step though is we need to have conversion tracking set up. So we wanna import our conversion event into from Google Analytics into Google Ads. You do this by going into Google Ads, clicking conversions, uh, and importing them. Again, there's tons of videos in this channel showing you how to do it. If the dashboard looks slightly different, guys, come on, just use use your ability to find out answers. It's very, very easy. I get a lot of comments on here of people going, oh, this has changed, this has changed. Guys, it, it doesn't change that much. Just go in, click conversions, or go onto Google and go, how to do this, bang, found it. I'm giving you just a framework here. It's very hard to create a video that's gonna last forever. So once you've imported these conversion events, you're gonna to wanna to check, uh, check down the track that they're working properly. Um, but then you also wanna approve the Google Merchant Center link and the analytics link with your Google Ads account if that is still pending. It might not always be. And then we wanna set up, set up our first shopping campaign. So leaving there, next video will be about setting up shopping campaigns. Uh, if you wanna do it straight away once the feed is approved, there's tons of tons of videos how to do it in this channel. Uh, the free shopping app on Shopify allows you to create one straight away in there. So just go ahead, set one up, put all your products in there and start testing out Google Shopping ads. Guys, as always, thank you very much for watching this video. I've enjoyed doing my first video back in a while. Um, got lots planned, um, lots of new stuff coming. If you ever do need help with your ads or wanna consider working with myself and my agency, just click the link uh, down in the comments below. Uh, and you'll find a way to do it. Um, we do tend to work with more established businesses at the moment. So if you are a beginner, please just use the content on this channel. If you're a little bit more advanced, jump into the course. And then if you need that extra bit of help, you're a brand, you're established, happy to always help. But glad to be putting more content out there again. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much, guys.